Hello and welcome to Indus News from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Tehami and these are the headlines. In Afghanistan, thousands of people have fled their homes following days of intense fighting between the Taliban and security forces in Helmand province. Officials said the Taliban launched a series of attacks on Sunday, prompting the U.S. to call in airstrikes to defend Afghan forces. The U.N. mission in Afghanistan has urged the warring sides to take measures to protect civilians. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops have martyred two more Kashmiris during a military raid in the Shopian district. This brings the death toll from violence by Indian forces to 10 in the last five days. The region has been under a curfew and communications blackout since India revoked its autonomy last year in August. Israel has approved over 2,000 new settler homes across the occupied West Bank. The approval comes less than a month after the UAE and Bahrain signed agreements to normalize ties with Israel. Under international law, Israeli settlements are considered illegal. In Europe, governments are introducing new restrictions to battle a second wave of coronavirus infections. In Britain, a three-tier alert system has taken effect, while Spain has unveiled new measures to curb the rising number of cases. France's President Emmanuel Macron is set to detail new measures for Paris and other cities. Globally, there has been more than 38 million infections and over a million and 88,000 deaths. That's all for now for the latest updates. You can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next is in the special.